We're joined in the post-game news conference, head coach Tony Dominguez, Erwin Weary Jr., and Nick Velp. Coach, uh, dominating 139-59 to victory tonight over Northwest Indian College, but uh, even more importantly, you got a chance to see a lot of your team put up some gaudy numbers on the court. Well, how fun <laughs> was it to see um, not just the two guys next to you here, but the, the team in general just going out there and having fun, a lot of smiles out on the court tonight? Well, that was great. You know, kind of approaching this game, last year we didn't play any games. Yeah. And so we wanted to have a full complement of games this year because we didn't play any. Uh, we originally had a couple of games scheduled with some Canadian teams that we normally play that are very competitive. Um, and because of the corona, the, the virus, they weren't able to come down. Um, Northwest Indian College, we've known them for a long time. They're, they're great folks and they um, were very gracious to come and play because they knew that they didn't have quite the team. But we really wanted to, to have a game in the middle of the, you know, the, the way the schedule works, I and mean, we played re eight really tough, you know, preseason games, um, and now we're going and playing more tough games, and then we're going to Vegas and playing the number one team in the country, and so we felt like this would be a good, um, just to be honest, not stressful game, but, you know, they did a great job, um, and we was really proud of their effort. As far as our guys, it's an opportunity because we did have a little bit shorter bench the last couple weeks, and we have so much talent. We have, all, you know, these two guys in particular are very, very talented, and you, you saw that tonight. And it's good because they haven't really seen that amount of minutes for as Vikings. And you know, Irwin's been here a while, and the Corona and redshirting, and so this is his first real game. He's gotten to get out there and get the kinks out and kind of get the nerves out of the way, and. So this game serves a lot of a lot of purposes, and it was fun crowd. And I, I know they traveled well; they brought a lot of people down. So, or when 36 points, uh, 15 for 20 shooting. How fun was it just to go out there and, and kind of and show what you got? Uh, you've been waiting a little bit in the wings, and and uh, you know I said on the webcast tonight. Uh, when the gym is very not very empty very often because Irwin's often shooting and uh, yeah. knocked on my window a couple of times. And, um, what was it like just get your chance and do your thing out there? You had a lot of smiles on your face tonight. Uh, well, it felt great. It, it, I'd, I'd like to say thank you to Coach for the opportunity. Uh, and, um, I mean, I've, I've been here for two years. I haven't played. This is really like my first game. Uh, and uh, I thank uh, Western for taking a chance on me. And um, I'm trusting I'm trusting the, the program and Coach the take good care of us as a team and me as a player, so, yeah. Nick, your, uh, your first real breakout game here as a Viking, a true freshman, um, showed that you can do it on the inside and the outside. Is that kind of how you pattern your game after, just going to be an all-around player? Um, yeah, just it's, it's very hard to guard when um, I can shoot it and have it inside. It really stretches out the defense, and if I can score inside it out, it, it makes it really hard for especially the big men to guard me. Uh, like number 44. He's a really big guy, so if I'm outside, brings him outside, and the inside's wide open. Like he scored inside a lot. I bring him out, pass it to him in post, and he had no help, and there's no stopping him tonight. Coach, it's a long season, and, and uh, <laughs> there's going to be some nicks and bruises and bumps. Is this a good game to, to also give some guys some confidence? Because these two guys that you see, they're going to be called into action at some point during the season. And JVM Garrett and Kai Johnson, everyone saw action tonight that was dressed up, but. Is this a good confidence booster for, for, for down the road? Well, there's, there's nothing like playing a real game with officials and crowds and a band and cheerleaders, and it's, it's different than practice. And so even though, you know, guys want to play the number one team in the country every single night, and, and our schedule shows we are playing a very competitive schedule, um, these games help with, with these moments. Um, yeah, I mean, they, I think they're, they're, they're talented, and so they, they just need that experience so that when they're going in games, in, in the big games, they know they can do that, and I think that's what these games will help you with. Big one this weekend. You open GNAC play against Simon Fraser. Um, what are you looking for? Just kind of get healthy and then take on uh, SFU, which is always a tough game for you guys. Uh, like we've talked about um, in the office, there's not a gimme in the GNAC this year. So how important is it to start off on a good foot against SFU? Yeah, you know, Simon's very good, and Coach Hans is doing a really good job with those guys. They, they've, I, I haven't looked because they take one game at a time, but I've heard they're doing well. We did see them down in California um, when we played in that tournament with them, and so we're familiar with them, and they will be very, very, very tough. And so, um, but I think we're, we're getting healthy and getting ready, and it uh, should be a good game. Great. Vikings play 3 o'clock on Saturday, come out to Carver Gym. Uh, the women's team, they'll play on Thursday against Lincoln, and then 7 o'clock that night against Simon Frazier right here. And a lot of basketball in Carver Gym. I know it brings a smile to my face, and it brings a smile to your faces. Thanks, guys. Great job tonight. Go Vikings. Go Vikings. Go Vikings.